Love me. Love me. Love me with Maiden's Hand. My name is Hobie Hill, and this is Maiden's Hand from Deception. The romantic, Cupid-loving, bardic, crazy, career... Blah, 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 blah. Charismatic individuals will love this game. So this game was inspired by picking flower petals off the roses, right? I mean, he loves me. He loves me not. He loves me, he loves me not, right? So that's what I'm talking about here, right? So it's a really cool, funny concept game. It's real simple to play. Um, if you like it, check it out. I love the lore segment behind it. It's one of my favorite games as far as kind of the lore um, that I created. And uh, yeah, so if you like it, cool. Hey, pick up a PDF copy then, uh, deepdungeongames.com. If you like me and you like physical copies, drive through RPG. You can totally get that sucker uh, hardback or softback, depending on what you want. Personally, I think the hardback's better. Because it's just more durable. But, you know, it's a lot of pages or a little bit of pages in a hardback. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. Anyways, if you're on Roll20, we're there too. So check it out. All right, guys. So we're going to be doing Maiden's Hand here. This is a kind of a love dove game that I like to add in there just because that's just the way I am. Got to be a lover sometimes. Not always a fighter, right? So the dealer is the maiden. An innocent last just learning the guidelines to the game of love. The dealer starts with 13 heart cards. Represents the maiden's attraction. All 13 are random using dice to card rules and are only revealed after the player has attempted to steal a heart. So what I like to do on this is I just roll the d10 and then if I happen to roll a 1, then I will roll the face value, right? I should be using red dice for this, right? I mean, come on, guys. I just, I'm just using green. I love green. I'm sorry. Um, so anyways, that way the dealer can actually figure it out. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we have a 9. Write that down just so I don't forget it because my memory stinks. A nine, we have a ten, a another nine, a one, a one, a three, a six, a one. Oh, wait, sorry, I gotta read those ones. Uh, sorry, I have three ones right now, so that the four gives me a king. And then the second one was a queen, and the third one was another uh, queen. So sorry about that, guys. If you roll, for, don't forget. If you roll that one, you gotta roll the d4 to figure out uh, what's the other face card. So we have another nine, uh, two, eight. Let's see. We're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three more. Eight. Two, three. Eight, two, three. All right, so I have all that jotted down here on my little scratch piece of paper right here. Um, so that's done. So we have our 13 random heart cards, and I like to leave them all in order, just how I rolled them. And they are only revealed after the players attempted to steal the heart. So uh, I picture this as kind of boys talking, you know, or, or girls talking for that matter. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, so if uh, whatever the significant other is trying to get the heart then that individual would probably talk about it and say, well, you know, little Sally uh, doesn't like flowers. So then the other players wouldn't break her flowers, right? The idea is that once the heart is revealed, the other players know what it is. So because that's why all the dashly players are trying to do, steal a heart from the maiden to win her hand. To steal a heart, each player will roll a dice to draw a card. If the card is higher value than the dealer's top card, so that in this case it would be a 9, but the players would not know that until it's until the first person tries to steal it. Um, the game lasts 13 rounds. The player with the most hearts in the end wins the game and the beauty. So we will play with four players here. Uh, I will just use the same dice here, okay? So um, obviously the king could be beaten by ace or a, uh, I would say if it ties, I would give the heart to the, uh, the player. Um, I didn't cover that in the actual rules, but I would do that. And please always, with any of these things that we're creating for y'all, please don't feel free to make up some stuff on your own. So we'll go ahead and roll. So a six, a, a, zero, a ten. So that would have went, so that would have been player two. So player three, uh, the, at that point, the nine would have been revealed on the first one. So the player two would know that the nine is revealed. So they know they had to roll high. doesn't really add too much flavor to it, but it does add a little bit. So now the next player, which is player three, rolls a four. Player four goes, rolls a six, does not beat the ten. So the tie goes to player one. Now I know I'm trying to keep track of this in my head. 
uh, player two rolls. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, guys. If you do win the heart, you get to roll again. So player one, we get to roll again, but fails. Oh, no, that's a one, so that's a face card. So that automatically beats the uh, nine, no matter what. Uh, so a six does not, so now it's player two. So five, player three, player four, player two, one, seven. Okay, we'll just say, uh, finally, we'll say that was player four. I'm just rolling for effect here. So that would be an ace, so that does go. We'll say that's player four. So again, I'm just rolling for effect, guys, to get the flavor across, because I'm not trying to bog the video down with a ton of rolling. It doesn't get anything across. Um, so eventually, um, that would go to player four, I said. So player one, or player four's turn, they rolled a four. Uh, that's a three, does not win. So player two, player three, player four. Oh, there we go. Now we roll this guy. That's gonna be a king. So it's gonna be player four again. And then the next guy, player four again. So that would go to the three, would go to the player four. They have to go again. That's a 10, does not beat the queen. So player four's turn. Roll a seven, four, six, five. Okay, so I, I hope you guys get the concept. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And I'm trying not to bog the video down with stuff that you guys don't understand or not explaining. So as long as the whoever player wins gets that. So right now, player four would have the most cards uh, according to uh, the hearts that were rolled for the deals. But that would go to 13. So, I mean, you have potential to win a whole lot. And it all depends on which cards get drawn. So I hope you like Maiden's Hand. And as always, I'm going to leave you at the lore segment. So this game was originally very popular amongst the boys of the village. They would all get together and simulate counting their the town's young girls using Maiden's Hands game. It was a pre pre uh, the, 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 pubescent boy's equivalent to picking petals from a flower. She loves me, she loves me not. She stabs me, she stabs me not. Local adults caught wind of the game, and with everything fun or worth doing, they forbade the children from playing the game and immediately took it to the tavern and used it to determine who would get dibs, just like adults would do, to ask a particular girl to dance. Spend time.